Hello and thank you for joining our webinar today titled Realistic Simulation for Optimized Packaging and today we're going to discuss simulation for cardboard packaging and we're lucky enough to have again Pierre Pagliugi, Senior Technical Manager at Dassault System and Pierre has 15 years of experience in technical development across R&D, tech sales and solution design and experience with SAP and Siebel before joining Dassault System. My name is Brian Carboni. I'll be your host today. I am the industry marketing leader for the CPG and retail industry vertical at Dassault System. I have 20 years background in the CPG industry across marketing, category management, and sales roles with companies like the Gillette Company, Procter & Gamble, and Helen of Troy prior to Dassault System. For an overview today, we'll talk about the trends and challenges facing the CPG industry and packaging and why simulation is needed more than ever in this day and age. And then Pierre will take us through a technical demonstration of our simulation capabilities. Now for trends in the CPG industry, consumers today are continually reevaluating and changing the way that they view, they interact with and discard packaging. And some of the key trends that have emerged are sustainability. Now sustainability is, is now part of the perception and identity uh, of a brand. It has become that important to consumers and retailers alike. And in terms of convenience, with today's busy lifestyles of consumers, they are reverting back to smaller, lighter, and more easily disposable packaging to fit those uh, busy lifestyles. And in terms of cost-effective shopping, people obviously don't want to pay more than they have to, but this trend towards smaller, lighter uh, packages has made consumers more money conscious in their buying decisions. So optimizing the cost on packaging is critical as a response. And there are some pretty significant challenges in the CPG industry. As customers, and in this case, customers mean retailers, as, as customers and consumers want more variety, they want more product innovation, they want high quality at a low price, and they want products to be sustainable that's putting pressure back on the packaging manufacturer as they need to think about the energy cost, the material cost of their packages, and what type of environmental impact well, will those materials and those packages have. The real issue here as CPG brand manufacturers or packaging suppliers look at a package design, it's an optimization problem. And in order to get that perfect package, now, like the chart says, you want to be here in this sweet spot. You want the minimal amount of material used, yet also have that package be reliable enough to stand up in manufacturing, in transport, and to have a very um, healthy and sturdy life uh, on the shelf. Now, if you don't use enough material, yes, you'll have lower material costs, but, but the damage costs may outweigh that in the long run. And if you have too much material, Obviously, your materials costs go up, but you may also price yourself out of the market, um, just remembering back to, to the consumer trend of, of more cost-effective shopping. So the real issue we need to ask is, how do you get to that perfect package as quickly as possible? Now, traditionally, the model looks like this. You design packaging, you build a prototype, you test that prototype and you understand its strengths and weaknesses and you repeat the process with an updated design. And you do this continually until you feel you've put your best foot forward in terms of packaging. Now, there's a couple problems um, with this method. One, it's time consuming. And with competition, global competition on the rise, speed to market is more critical than ever. And this traditional method could be slowing your, your enterprise down. It's also costly, not just in terms of uh, the, the cost of building prototypes and testing them, but the cost to have all these engineers working on a project for a longer period of time and perhaps not on other uh, innovative projects. And how do you know that package is optimized? Now, simulation comes with some solutions in these areas. With simulation, you can fake it before you make it. 
Uh, simulation allows you to evaluate multiple designs up front in the design process. Uh, you can consider uh, more design alternatives earlier. It enables non-simulation experts, like me, to prove out their designs through access to streamlined processes. And you can capture, share, and reuse simulation and analysis data throughout your company, so on, multi on multiple brands. Now, our solution is called the Perfect Package Industry Solution Experience. It's a platform-based model, and with our simulation tools, there are multiple benefits, including you can reduce your package weight to decrease your materials costs and drive lower CO2 emissions. So uh, think sustainability and lower cost. You can accelerate your design time by removing the need for physical prototyping and testing. So that, that cycle you're in of constantly uh, designing, building, and testing, you can streamline that. And you can optimize your package design to increase shelf life and really delight that consumer. And we have simulation solutions for multiple types of packaging, including flexible, rigid plastic, and cardboard. And today we are going to discuss simulation for cardboard packaging. And I'll turn it over to Pierre for a technical demonstration. Hello everyone. In this video, I will present you how to um, configure a box compression test. So it's a standard cardboard test. Uh, and how to do it with the trade experience platform R2016. Um, so in this video at first we will show you some configuration so you have a cardboard and you want to adapt the secondary package around the primary package with knowledge and then how to perform a box compression test. So here I instantiate my template. So this template it's a secondary cardboard instantiated around my primary package. So you can imagine you have created your primary package and then you want to instantiate a secondary package with a number of primary package. So here with the two parameters I'm able uh, to manage the number of package in the X and Y direction. So this is performed with knowledge which will automatically adapt the cardboard around the package and the cutout around the logo of the primary package. So you can imagine your customer will manage the number of, of box inside, will choose which kind of configuration he want to use and then the idea is okay I have my secondary package, is it reliable for transportation or for compression test, I will be able to check this behavior with uh, my uh, 3D experience platform. So here I, I decided to choose this configuration, so 2 by 4 package. Um, this is for me the good one, so I can suppress the, the transparency and then uh, I created an explicit step, so FEA simulation. So I call it a box compression test. I will reuse it for 0.6 seconds. So now I have my mesh, I have all the components of the compression test. I will apply some mass scaling as it's an explicit step. So it will help the solver by adding some mass to the element. Then I configure uh, a general contact because we'll have contact on the top and the bottom of the simulation. After, I will block all the degree of freedom of my bottom uh, guide in order to not be able to move during the simulation. And for the top uh, plate, I will only allow the translation on the z-axis. Then, I will apply a translation on the top plate in order to compress the box during 20 millimeters. I also using an amplitude in order to have a linear compression. So uh, this amplitude is linear and then I will simulate it. So this simulation is quite fast and allow me to see how the box behaves during the compression. So here you can see uh, it's a cardboard with some anisotropic properties. So these properties are dependent of the direction of the, the, of the orientation of the box and see 
okay, my, my box is compressed during the uh, simulation and I'm able to see the reaction force. And to recap, uh, please visit www.3ds.com backslash perfect dash package. On our site, you can get more information on our solutions. You can download free case studies, including Westrock, Amcor, Sankoban, and PTI. And you'll have access to uh, other white papers and eBooks as reference materials. We'd like to thank you, and we hope we talk to you soon.